Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's my pleasure. It's always my honor to be connected out here in nature and bring to you this message of emancipation. This message that would set you free if you would only look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you concerning Abdullah, the teacher, and Neville Gallard, the student. So we want to speak about teacher and student. Now, when you realize that the Bible was borrowed from Kemet and that the Bible is a plagiarized book, you would realize that there has always been a play that is going on in the race of life. And that play, it's a game. And it's a game of the master and the slave, the teacher and the student. Now, when you look at yourself, there is an intelligence that is above. That's the master. And there's a slave that abides by what been given or directed to that body by the mind or the master. So there's always a teacher and a student. Okay? Now, if you look around and you look at nature, you will see that there are people who are, there are a people who are more connected to nature. And there are a people that looks more original based on the things they do. Because remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And you always have to remember the law of polarity, that everything has its polar opposite. Okay? Now, with that kind of understanding, you will understand the symbology of Abdullah being the teacher and Neville Gallen being the student. And how Abdullah would have told Neville thousands of years ago, there were philosophers back in China. And he would have decided to forget. Now, what I'm going to say here might be a hard saying, but it's true. You see, our ancestors, with the knowledge that they had, before the coming of the Europeans, they were willing to share that knowledge. They were willing to share their wealth with the world. Mansa Musa shared his wealth. There was a people on this continent. And these people understood the law of consciousness. Because these people are so connected with nature. And these people had always been looking to the sun, as in the S-U-N. And with their close connection to the sun, and understanding the intelligence of the sun, they were practicing the inner sun engineering, which is a science and technology that takes place inwardly. And there are a, there is a point where many of them would have experienced the sun, as in the S-U-N, within themselves, in the form of awakening within themselves and coming out of themselves and being one with the universe. Being one with the elements, knowing that they are the fifth element. It used to happen. And so Abdullah wanted us to bring that to our remembrance while he was teaching his student, Neville, to reflect to us what would have taken place while we end up believing in a savior or a redeemer outside of ourselves who happened to be looking like a European.
the blue eye, blonde hair, Jesus, that we end up with worshipping. So Abdullah was playing out all of these things with the relationship with himself and Neville Garden. So here we see that Abdullah was showing Neville what was really stolen from us and how it must come back to us. So my brother and my sisters, the point I want to get across to you is that when you become more aligned with nature and more connected to nature, then you will understand that the Savior is within you, that the healer is within you, that the provider is within you, and that you've been given an idol to worship so that you will live in idolatry and live under a curse. So when Neville had this burning desire, Abdullah was showing us that when the Europeans came, they had a burning desire to know of the knowledge. To know what was what would have made a people the way they are. But because these people were so connected and can transcend so easily, the enemy realized that if they know these people's spirituality, they'll be able to conquer them and enslave them. And that is what would have taken place why Abdullah had to come now and teach Neville the message of symbology and the law of consciousness to show us that the law of consciousness didn't come from the Europeans. That the Bible didn't originally come from the Europeans. It is showing us that they were uncivilized people who were taught by a civilized people. Then they turned around and used war against a civilized people, stole their arts, their artifacts, their sacred writings, their spirituality, everything, and twisted to how they wanted to be. And then keep the people in mental slavery through idolatry. That is why many people would accept and love me if I hold to a Neville gathered narrative. Because I would be lifting up their image and their likeness. But I'm saying your true image and likeness is within. And your real identity is your divinity. But the moral of the story is you are the head and not the tail. You are to be the lender and not the borrower. You are to be above and not beneath. So you have to make the choice now if you're going to be this or are you going to be this. If you're going to be a master, are you going to be a slave? That is why in this time of the COVID-19, it's a test. And many people are going to say, well, because of my job, because of this, because of that. But I'm saying to you, grab hold of this. You are the teacher, not the student. You are the head, not the tail. All I'm saying to you, believe in your royalty. Believe in your divinity. Believe in your higher self. Accept your higher self. And understand the message of symbology that was laid out there for us 
to see to the relationship between Neville Gallant and Abdullah. So my brother and my sisters, all I'm saying to you is to accept your higher self. To live your life from the head and not the tail. Live from the spiritual and not the physical. Let the spiritual be in control of the physical. That is why you must close your eyes and go within through meditation. Instead of going on your knees and praying to a God or a Savior outside of yourself. Because when you do that, you are accepting the white man as your God, your Lord, and your Savior, and your teacher. And that is why, when you understand the psychology that they've been using on us, you have to use reverse psychology. Because it will always seem that they are the ones who are teaching you, and you are uncivilized, but it's not true. You are the civilized one. You see, many of them make us believe that we were illiterate, and they make us literate with a brainwashed education to give you an employee mentality. But my brother and my sisters, if I leave here right now and I go to Russia, I am illiterate because I can't speak the language. I can't write the language. If I leave here, I go to China. I am illiterate because I can't speak the language. I can't write their language. If I go to Venezuela or I go to Cuba, I'll be illiterate because why? I can't speak their language. And they give us a foreign language. They give us the, what we call the English language. So they can use words around to brainwash you. But when you understand the message of symbology and you get connected with nature and you get experience for yourself, then you would know that no one in this world could brainwash you and deceive you to believe in any power, or any God outside of yourself. So it's not like if Neville was bringing some sort of truth to us that we didn't know. This thing must come back to us because it belongs to us. So my brother and my sister, all I'm saying to take, take control. There's so much people still on this ne on the Neville narrative. Some are asking me about things that I'm teaching that Neville didn't teach. I must go further. I must go beyond. You have to understand that. I remember many years, many, many years ago, still trapped in secular Christianity. I used to follow a, 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 a white man called William Branham. Not until I went into a gym. And this man would have passed on since 1965. And I went beyond him. To meet him face to face. And still many of my brothers brother and sisters all around the world still following him. And once you follow him. If he's in a, in a, in a, in a desert. Wherever he puts his foot. A tree going to go right there. You, gonna, you will get lost in a forest. But when you realize you can go further. That's why I'm trying to take you further. And see what this whole thing was all about. So don't look to get some nice story put together to suit your mind. I have to speak the truth and I will speak it ever. Because had it been that I would have had the experience of the true awakening, I would not, would not have known what was done to our people. That's why my brother and my sister, as I come to a close... I want to say to you, before I explain my experience to you, I want to say to you, if you, this is the very first time you're listening to me, what I'm saying makes sense to you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraged to subscribe, to like, to comment, or share, to share this video. But before I leave, I just want to remind you that this message I bring to you, that it is the singular, yes, the singular I message of self-realization, which Matthew 6.22 says that if I be single, your whole body will be full of a light, and the scripture was taken from what our ancestors would have known concerning the eye of Horus. And my brother and my sisters, when this thing takes place in you, there's an eye that would awake within you. And you will experience that great and mighty shaking. You will hear that unearthly wind. And you would ascend like a fiery being. And you will come out of your skull and become invisible. You will become one with the wind. And you will come to experience that this experience is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And truly, the Bible is the sun book. And it was stolen from Kemet because our people were more connected to 
the son and they had the story of the son written before that is why my brother and my sisters in psalms 84 11 it tells that the lord thy god is a son and a shield and no good thing with you with you from you all it takes is just basic common sense to look around and see that the sun is what powers all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy that is why also it is said in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2 that the son of righteousness <laughs> righteousness is the discovery of the son in you the s-u-n in you not a s-o-n not a jesus not a man 2000 years ago how could a s-o-n exist unless there first be the s-u-n it's basic common sense so he say he shall arise in you with healing in his wings and when the sun has risen in me and i change from mortal to immortality in that twinkling of an eye that is what have me here encouraging you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and encouraging you to use your mind power which is your solar power your sun power your god power your creative power which is actually the sexual power use that power to achieve your every desire and remember what was taught to us before the europeans came by our ancestors saying man no die self and that was the message that was taught to neville Goddard by our ancestor abdullah who was the teacher and neville being the student read between the lines and look at that picture and you would see what was done to our ancestors so with that being said i want to say peace love you all i'm out